Hello, so I'm going to do a video today on uh, your default settings. Uh, so what you want to do is go into your management tools, defaults. So what I'll do is um, I'll go to advanced steel profile. Uh, what I'll do is actually have a test one here that I use for something else. Let me go into the test one. Now some of these I may have already, <coughs> excuse me, some of these I may have already changed. So first we'll go to the level symbols level symbols so you want to filter to make it easier for yourself so level symbol and go to drawing uh drawing labeling general actually put in the symbols with the s that was it though it was on that so go to general and what we want to do is the level symbols trim zeros so It'll show you there. It takes the zeros off the end. Uh, we don't want to take the zeros off the end because if you have something that's eight feet, you don't want it to be marked as just eight feet. You want the eight foot zero inches. So that's the first one. So make that unchecked. Next one is the text size for level symbols. Uh, 332 is very small. Well, it's not very small. Actually, when you start, this will be 1 16th. So I made it 332, but you can probably make it 1 8. So make it 1 8 of an inch. So that's good. And the next thing you want to do is the level symbol prefix. So level symbol. So let's go back to level symbol. And. And where is the prefix? Level symbol prefix. Default prefix for level symbol. <laughs> so there's nothing shown here by default. So we want to put in elevation here for the level symbol. That'll just help us out rather than just coming in with, it'll just come in with a number otherwise. So level prefix, change this to E L for elevation and that'll help that and level dimension prefix uh, which is under general if you put in level dimension so okay that one is okay this is okay this is okay so then type in level dimension as you know, it can be sometimes hard to find things in here, even if you have notes made. So the level dimension is is put in with a it's put in with a small L, which looks like an I for all the world or one. So you want to change that to a capital L, like I just did with the other one, and then it look like elevation. That'll look a little better. So apply those changes in case I do something wrong. <clears throat> so next we want to concern ourselves with the zeros because a lot of times the zeros don't show up in advanced steel in your builds of materials and things like that so if I type in zeros and go to labeling level symbols we already did that one and the ones for the bill of materials suppress the last zero used for bill of materials unchecked so if that's checked it'll get rid of the last zero we don't we do not want to get rid of the last zero as you can see there so that setting is the way we want it uh, out of the box a lot of these aren't like this i've just changed them already and i've copied this one from one that had been changed um, so you want to do there's more zeros so do zero and we want to go for feet and inches so let's pick presentation so hide zero sign for feet so that's going to hide the zero sign for feet we don't want that so we'll uncheck that one so now we want the zeros to show and same here we want that zero to show 
So a lot of this is the zeros. So it, it can be annoying when these come in with just eight foot or whatever mark. So now the next one we have is the scale fraction. So if I go down here to scale, uh, actually we want to do the fraction height. So uh, scale fraction for lists, scale fraction height is 0 0.6, which I believe it's 0 0.5 at the start. We can make that a little higher, maybe three quarters. Uh, that's probably good enough. The scale factor for lists should be all right. Um, we want to do the development for the plates. Is sometimes set incorrect. Uh, let's do view radius. Development view radius. So I'm just looking through my notes here. Yeah. Development view radius. This is set to the outer dimension. Generally, bends are taken, the lengths for bends are taken from the inner dimension. Here, they've been taken from the outer dimension. So what we'll do is change that to inner dimension. It's up to you. You can change that back if you need it to be the other way. Um, we want to do the revision index. Revision index. Uh, revision index. Okay, that's okay. Revision index. Find me show the revision index. We want to check that. So if you look at that, it shows the revision index next to the revisions. So you can uncheck that if you don't want that. Sometimes I don't want that, but checking it can be good. It's it can be a good option uh, to know that one. So. That's another one. So we have <coughs> lot phase. Uh, if you want the lot phase to be used, uh, I think there should be a dash between that. Numbering. Lot phase used for main part numbering. Yep. And we want it. Check all three of these. So, if you have anything in these, they'll be used for numbering. Now, you can set that automatically, or you can set that manually as you're doing it, which I like to do. So, it's up to you if you want to do this or not. I'm going to leave it checked for now. Generally, if you're using lot phases, you'll want it to be used for number, depending on the size of the project. And uh, there's a couple of small ones left that are important. Um, cut views. So display cut views. Uh, if I could only spell display properly. So uh, display. Draw on dimension. And draw on presentation. Display a cut symbol for end plate views. Now, this is good practice so that people will know it's not a projection view. So, I do like to tick this. So, if you don't tick this, there might be there might be a confusion in the shop as to whether it's a projection view or a cut view. So, just make sure you're looking through the right side. So that can help. And then there's two other small ones. Um, the default diameter for holes. Default diameter for holes. 
So the default diameter here is set to 13 16 So anytime there's a hole that's 13 16 it won't show up in the drawing. So we never have any holes that are 1 16 So let's change this to 1 16 And what will happen now is all holes will be labeled no matter what because you're not going to have a 1 16 hole. <coughs> and it forces the system to basically put labels on everything. And if you end up missing something, they'll call you to ask you what size the holes are. Now, uh, on my drawings, I used to have typical hole size in the bottom. You want to delete that off your drawings also. So don't have a typical hole size. Uh, it just seems to be bad practice. And one last one is the weld sizes. So weld size. Oh, again, spelling's let me down. Weld size. So the weld size is in as one quarter of an inch, uh, which is fine. So it means it automatically comes in as a quarter of an inch. So what we do is, if we change this to one sixteenth, uh, the drawing, we, we were not going to have a one sixteenth weld. If we do, it won't show up. So it'll be handy just like a tack weld. Now anything else that's not one sixteenth will show up on the drawing, on the two D drawings. Uh, so I think that's the last one. Uh, let me just have a quick look through here. Uh, compasses. I mean, some people do like to change. That was in one of the lists. That was in the, the training manual, I think. Was compass. Uh, Sorry, the labeling, I believe. Labeling. I know, fundamentally. No. No, of course, it's the last one. Presentation. Yeah. So, this here is showing the compass, and the compass will show up the number of elements that are pointing in any one direction. I, I don't. It doesn't really bother me that the number is in there, but some people prefer to just have the orientation. So, it'll just show you north instead of three north which would mean three pieces facing north so i probably leave that like that but uh you can change that one also if you want some people change that so uh this video obviously ran a bit longer than i thought because uh, it's not that quick to search for these things um i hope these are helpful i do recommend you doing the elevation ones at least and the zero ones they're very important so make sure you so you don't suppress the zeros and also change the elevation to e capital e capital l elevation uh, i hope this helps some people and uh, it'll get your default setup correct or close to it all right take care hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe all that good stuff thank you bye bye